hands. If he wants to take it over Charlie, he's going to have to reset the bracket. Yeah, I just want to say, like, eat this up while you can, Austin against the top talent, because the guy does not travel out much. You're not unfortunately. Gonna, yeah, you're not going to see him, unfortunately, at things like, you know, Frostbite, Big House, Genesis 6. I mean, like, you'll see him here at, like, Low Tier City. You may see him in some, you know, inner Texas if you're lucky, but he is mostly just here in DFW. and getting to see him go up against top talent. If you are a Ness player or if you just like seeing Ness against good players, mm -hmm. this is the time to really watch and just soak it all up. Yeah, James Chen, keep an eye out. I know he's been looking at high quality Ness play, trying to level up. This is uh this is the one to oh do. My God. God. <laughs> Ready Austin for the it. madman. Okay. We saw it to great effect, Trellis starting with that fireball at the earlier uh, earlier matches, but Austin has the answer for it. Holy cow, Austin is destroying the upward C stick. There we go. Tiger Fighter disadvantage. One thing that we'll have a huge advantage of, or Trello will have a huge advantage in, is the range in this matchup. Having that down tilt, having the neutral air, and the ability uh, to pressure floaties like Austin, like or like Ness, rather. Mm. But man in disadvantage, he also gets eaten alive. Austin will just be able to string hits on hits. Ooh. That back here, though, nice. He's going to get a sweet spot. He's going to take it. Nice and juicy. Ooh, that Nair does so much damage. Really, really racking it up. Man, and Trellis' frame traps are so good. He just keeps the floating in disadvantage. That's all we've seen all night. Wow. wow. Punishes so, that side stall. I wanted to say that for the most part, I've really liked the magnet stalls because they've really mixed up there his timing. Go. What great coverage. But Austin's side stalls have been mixing up his timing a lot, and that's been so crucial because Ness is pretty flowcharty oh on that. Oh I my can't God, believe Austin! <laughs> Forget timing mix-ups. This guy's mixing up the, your your worldview. What a what a way to come back into this game. Now he has a solid lead. Continue to apply pressure. Really smart by Trello to go for the uh, downer there because he already had upwards momentum. It doesn't immediately fall. You go for that stall in the air. That downer is going to go straight down. Take him. He's sitting at ninety-three percent. What can he do? That pressure on the platform, Austin keeps applying it. Oh, it's oh, it! Oh my oh god! My god. <laughs> Austin, you monster! Against Trella, no less, dude, catching that air dodge because he conditioned him to that. Trella says he sees the PK fire. Oh, hold on, I'll shut up for a second. Just watch this. Three. Boom. That's how many <laughs> that's how many PK fires it takes to get to the Tootsie Roll center of Trella. <laughs> of a Ridley. <laughs> of a Ridley. Of a Ridley pop. And boy, Ridley popped there. He definitely did. Definitely popped on that PK Thunder too as well. I mean, man, that PK Thunder initially, Trellis had been chased by it into the air dodge the last time. So he figured if I air dodge it early enough, I may be able to punish Austin. God but bless. he was already ready with a different idea. And that's why we go to Trellis counterpick with him down one nothing here. All I'm thinking right now is that Ridley killed Samus's parents and there's only one monster on the screen and it's not Ridley. <laughs> It gets the down throw, sets up. Again, Trella starting off hot. We'll see if Austin can again stifle the momentum. Here we go, that platform doing good job of helping him catch this landing, tries to near. The shield grab just completely whips. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Ridley's recovery, not the best. He does have to commit to that command grab to get the distance. And that's putting him in a really bad spot. These PK Thunder juggles are making it so hard for Trella to make it back. Oh, trying to find a follow-up for the up air, but now once he gets it too low to actually get the kill. Boy, does Austin know this character so well. This huh. character being uh, being the Ness that he being plays. Being the Ness, yes. I don't know if he has any Ridley experience really outside of uh, occasional locals that he'll see. Yeah. I don't know uh, if he's run into any of our local Ridley players, but we don't have any that are like making the top eights. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, at the lock. At the sure. lock-in, we, uh, <laughs> we did see Tomatoni. Wow, the double nair. That's such a good retreating move, it looks like. Tries to go for the grab, but DIing up and away. Dude, Back he's gonna do it. getting so much mileage out of his aerials. Austin, one stock away from resetting the bracket with the quickness. Okay, but Trellis got him off stage, trapped at the ledge. He's dashing just outside of all the ranges, comes with the dash attack. Cute little fireball to try to catch Austin. Oh my god, I can't believe he challenged that. What guts that <laughs> requires. Austin's gut stat is maximum right now. 
<laughs> oh yeah! my god, not only did he go for an angle that could be aggressive, but he still recovered with it. It wasn't even all or nothing. And goes for it again. That, was that one's all nothing. or nothing. Yes. This time, Austin going a little bit crazy. Still building up the percent, but this is the last ox. Trella can make something happen if Austin's not careful. Okay, ledge trap low. not there. Really does so much damage per hit. Oh, but that's a little bit of a negated. Here we go, back throw. That's gonna, even if you're Ridley, even if you're a fat character, that's a quick 2-0 bracket reset for Austin, now sitting in an even playing field. Grand finals, loser's side, last set. I wanna know if Austin really is the king of Shockwave. I wanna know if he is the king of this venue right now. So far, he's won Sansi's Dreamland. He's won our Shockwave. He's won just about every event that matters right here. Yeah. Be it from winners or coming through venue. a loser's run. So we'll see if he's able to continue that streak or if Trello's going to end it here. But Austin looked, despite them being you know, down to the last stocks, dominant. When Austin's playing on fire, he's playing on fire. You know? Uh, doesn't you look can like say anything can stop him. But Trello, man, I mean, considering what we've seen tonight, he just might be the man to do it. All right, he only needs a couple of hits to get a good amount of damage, and he's done a solid job with his advantage state, but Austin is playing ping pong, tossing him all the way across the stage. This time, Austin makes the adaptation. He knows that the PK Thunder won't hit that up B coming up from Ridley, so this time he goes under him, and this time it's even able to set him up for a kill. There go, Austin on the ledge, but he fights his way back through, sets up on the platform, that up air. And again, chases with the PK Thunder. Austin going for some wild stuff, as usual. Yeah. All right, that won't put him on ledge. Here we go. Tries to catch him with the down angle forward tilt, but doesn't quite. I feel like Austin has been doing nothing but fighting back, and Trella has just been getting hit by him. Here we go. There we go. Forward tilt does catch Austin. Didn't have any landing options. Didn't dash into that forward smash, though. Back throw going to send him off. How does he trap? That's it down throw. throws. Waits for the air dodge, and that's an up air. That will kill. Trello, though, sitting at hundo percent on this second stock. Mm -hmm. Austin still with a solid lead back. Back air going to send all the way across. Classic conversions, and this time ready for that up B to come early to the side, and yeah. Trello's dead. For those wondering, or maybe not super familiar, Ridley only has four directions that he can go with that recovery. It's not like Fox where you can pick an angle however you would like. He can only go straight up as far as an upwards recovery. Here we go, down throw, going to set up for the off air, put on even more damage. There we go, down air does fight through. Oh my god! Trilla. Dude, I am Say loving your chest. Dude. <laughs> Back throw to get him off. Trella just needs to find a way out of these PK Thunder Vortexes. Austin is not going to let it happen, though. Man, it's such an oppressive juggling tool that not every character has the ability to get through. For those uh, who are maybe asking, what answers does anybody have against that move? Uh, well, in the, the answer is you definitely don't want to air dodge it, because in this game you have a lot more lag on that, and he can always curl the tail around and come back and hit you. Yes. Uh, it's not going to work out very well, and a lot of the times that can actually lead to PK Thunder 2 setups where he'll rocket at you. What you want to try to do is attack the PK Thunder head with a hitbox that um, preferably doesn't have a ton of lag. So with a character like Ridley, it looks like he's having trouble positioning himself to go for like a back air or forward air to eat the PK Thunder head, and I believe neutral air would just trade for him which uh, if you're trading against a non-physical projectile, you're just getting hit. Yes. It's not a good time. There we go. So back here, this time Trella getting a big follow-up out of those fireballs. He's been doing that fireball to dash attack a lot. He's been getting mileage out of it, and he's getting mileage out of these combos. My god, 105%? And again, we're seeing Trella with a hot start almost every time. He's had a really hot start, but the question is, can he keep it up? Can he finish it right now? He's got a phenomenal lead, 140% on Austin. Trying to go for the two-frame, doesn't quite find it. But forward tilt's not going to be hitting its mark. Austin dragging oh, Ridley man. across the stage with that forward air. Tries to set up PK fire pressure. Austin, a man without fear, even at 150%. He's uh -huh. still scrapping, tries to make something happen with the PK Thunder. Back throw, not quite going to do it. Yeah. 
Not quite a kill throw, and Austin's going to get a little bit of that throw damage back. Back air going to set him off. A little bit extra for the good measure. Back throw this one? No! Oh, it's because of that heal that he's able to make it back, and look, almost got the reset there again, but it's a little bit too high this time. Back air's a little bit too low. Hitbox doesn't come out, so Austin was able to get out of the situation. Scott free. What a phenomenal turnaround so far from Austin. Man, you're saying and he Trellis, takes the first stock. You're saying Trellis got it in the bag if he can figure out how to finish his plate, but only just now with the invincibility does he do it. Mm -hmm. You're saying, man, Austin, once he gets you to those percents, he knows how to clean a plate off. He eats it all. There we and go. He's coming back for seconds, man. Nair tries to set up, but he doesn't have anything true, looks like, because Austin keeps fighting out with his own aerials. Oh down my tilt. god, that down tilt's so good. Got big range. And <laughs> Ridley's a big character, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go. Down throw tries to set up, but Austin's able to air dodge through. It's a frame trap, though. Great Trella has trap. consistently been showing those off. Yeah, especially the Nair is so good with the frame trap because it's such an active move regardless. And that's a big conversion. The Austin off stage. Wow, he go. chased him all the way to the corner. Again, Trello looking to have the advantage at the start of this stock, but I want to know if he's able to finish it. Oh, yeah, I was about to, to say, I'm looking for the command grab because that will kill an S at this point. There we go. As long as he, he drags under pressure, it. he misses the dash attack. Oh, oh my, my god! god. <laughs> no check. Can he, he make it back? Have the angle. Mm. Wow. No angles, and he's not able to find that recovery, Austin. Still sitting in that 114, absolutely at a kill percent, but can Trella find the right hit? Going for these forward smashes, back here's gonna do it. Uh huh. Only 18%, that's nothing. But Austin's trying to rack it up and make it something. Yeah, potentially tournament stock here for Trella. He's gotta make it back. You wanna see your boy win, Houston, guys? I'm impressed one to chat. Give him your energy, man. He's certainly shown that he's got the gumption to build up the damage, and, and he's got the gumption to take the stocks. Good. Lord, that move killed it. I think Such there are a lot of ones in chat, apparently. Everybody in Houston's got their hands raised to give Trella their energy. Woo. Prince Trella trying to come back. This is now game three, last game of this set. Dude, repping the boys. This is what I like to see, that friendly inner city rivalry. We get down to the last game possible of the tournament. And it is going to be a tight Battle for this game three. More than likely, we've seen it back and forth between these two. Always last stocks. So final what destination. What a way to erase that last one. I can't, dude. He he ran a train so quickly. He said zero sixty four death. Yeah, very reminiscent of the way that Karna was taking the stocks from Austin uh, in their set in winners, where he would sit just outside the range, have Austin land out land uh, and whiff an aerial, and then he comes in with a strong punish. Mm -hmm. There we go. Ooh. Porter tries to set up for a down air. Interesting. Normally, uh, probably an air dodge read. DK fire. Yeah, it's been great. There we go. Nair off the ledge is going to be able to fight his way back off. But he is a big boy. He gets caught in that PK fire for some damage. Now, Austin, this is the chase we've been seeing time and time again. And for the first time in this set, we've seen Austin with a really strong lead. Uh, as far as percentages go on this first oh, dog, mashes out, mash. waits for the jabs, but he doesn't wait for all three. And that down smash takes Ooh. the first stock. Trella taking the first stock in this game. Completely backwards of what we're used to seeing. Man. This could be big. I'm there to back air sets up potential edge guard. No. Seen the way Trella plays with the lead, but now it is diminished down to a meager 24%. That dash attack sets him off the stage. Covers the air dodge, but Austin again fighting away with that with a forwarder. Austin kind of married to those PK fires, and Trellis been able to jump over them as of recently. Okay, dashes outside the range, but doesn't find the dash in quick enough. Boy, Austin just oh. keeps holding forward. Wow, that was a really smart option to try to cover the tech in. Ooh, not too aggressive. Dash attacks from Trello. Tr Tr what he's done is he's really slowed his game down. Started oh. dashing back, waiting for Austin to press a button, and he's coming in with these big hits. The big hits indeed. Trello one stock away from making the comeback after that dominant set one from Austin. Oh my god, the near knock. Up angle forward till it gets the sweet spot. That's big damage. That's big boy Wrigley damage.
This is exactly what you think of when you think about what can Ridley do. Uh, he puts 55% on like nobody's business. And he's continuing to apply the pressure, not looking to drop this stock anytime soon. Almost lapped Austin in percent. It's he's looking keeps, real good. He keeps just dashing back. Yeah. Or walking slowly back and waiting for Austin to go for a deep aerial and whiff. Wow. Bad. Not quite going to do it. The stall from Austin. Okay, corner so big, but this will do it for Can't sure. Can't mash out. Trella is able to take it all the way back. Austin was one game away from winning that entire set, but taking what the adjustments. tournament. Yeah, what adjustments from Trella? That's what you expect to see, man. We talk about how good Trella is. He's been the pride of Texas for so long. And coming up from Houston up to DFW to show his stuff with that Ridley and taking a 177-man tournament, that's a payday for you and a payday for people who have pride in their city. Good job, Houston. Yeah, and what a uh, man to take the throne, to dethrone Austin. Who better than Prince Trella? Yeah, Prince Trella, man, putting on a show and taking the game. I mean, man, Austin... He's got he's to work a little bit harder. I mean, you know, he's able to come out on top of everybody else in DFW this time. But now he's got something a little bit else to work towards, man. If he thought that he was good just sitting at the top there, he's got one more spot to climb right now.